Okay, this time it worked. Sorry about that. I, uh, I came flying down the stairs with one minute to spare. <laughs> it was 6.59 and I had to, you have to type in a title on the, um, on the live. And I did so, and it said there was a problem connecting to the Facebook. So, there's a few of you now. Yeah, so you're not, uh, I'm, I'm late. You're not in the wrong spot. I, um, <laughs> what was I doing until 6.59, I hear you cry. I was hand feeding my dog because this is my life and that's what I do. <laughs> yes, but anyway, I digress. Gerald, who needs batteries, says it is 7.02. I am Tamara, the, you're on, you're, uh, what's my spiel? I am Tamara, you're on Tamara's Paper Trail. This is Mystery Card Monday. I'm coming to you from Edmonton, Alberta, Canada. Give me a hidey ho. Let me know who's playing along tonight, who's creeping, who's here, just to see what's going down. Um, while I try to get myself organized, uh, I'm trying to find my slippers. Let me clean up my crafter mat from this afternoon. Um, up until 6.59, before I was feeding my dog by hand, I was packing. Yes, I was. I figured 10 to 7 was probably the best time for me to do so. Um, that's the way I roll, right? I need a really firm deadline. I'm like, I got 10 minutes. I can do this. So I think I'm packed. <sighs> packing with a passion that burns. <sighs> Hi, Susan. Hi, Kathy. No, you didn't lose me. No, I was on YouTube for about a nanosecond. Hey, Penny, Jennifer, Sherry, Shayla, Paula. I know I don't like being late. Whenever I'm trying to find a live, I'm like, it's like seven o'clock and 10 seconds. Where are they? Where at? What? Did, what? Anyway, so no, it was me, not you. Hi, Paulette, Melanie, Cheryl, Sharon, and Ada. Hello from Washington. Lena, hello, my friend. Melanie, how did the packing go? Yes. So I just finished. Um, I, I did it until about two. Then... So I'd been doing, I'd been, no, I'd been packing for about two hours and I was tired of that game. So I came downstairs to make some cards. That went okay. Not too, too bad. And then I went up for dinner and then at uh, 10 to six, I went up, I went, okay, I just have to do my per, like it's all that gross stuff that's left, right? It's like, oh, the paperwork, you know, where's my charger and oh, my Kobo isn't charged and all that stuff and things, right? It's, it, oh, it's just gross. And then I end up with this bag you know, the snacks and the stuff you're taking on the plane and everything. I'm like, it's bigger than my freaking suitcase. Like, what? Oh, and then I'm like, oh, my swaps. And, oh, maybe I should, lo like, I should um, check in. Because WestJet said, hey, you can check in now. So, but no, I needed to do an app and I needed to scan a thing. And then I needed to print this stuff. And anyway, here I am. And now it's 7.05 and I've taught you nothing. <laughs> so aren't you glad you asked? That was the packing. It is now officially done. I'm just going to grab some business cards. They're always good to have on hand, right? Hi, Cindy from Burning BC. I know, Cindy, it's just tragic. It just, I can't even look at the news. It's just breaking my heart because I have so many friends in BC. So stay safe and, oh, the air quality. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. Hi, Shayla. Uh, no, she didn't forget. No, no, no. Hi, Marcella and Connie. Hi, Connie. MJ, look at, okay, I just playing excellent. Sheila Barnes, hello. Kathy, hi, River. Always first. Mm -hmm. Or you always watch first and then craft. Yes. And that's probably wise, Kathy, because sometimes I make a lot of mistakes. <laughs> yeah. Um, sure. Okay. Hi, Tracy. Yes, I'm starting to get excited now because I thought I was going to have to finish packing after my live, but I think I'm good now. Hi, Christine from Winnipeg. Hello, and Mary. And Chris Stone's from Australia. Where's my dinger? There's my dinger. Hi, Pat. Okay. No, I leave tomorrow morning. I think the flight's at 9.30 in the morning. So I'm leaving the house. I think I'll leave it quarter to six because I have to get gas. And then I'm picking up my girlfriend. Uh, you might know her, Lauren Urbanos. She uh, is a pal of mine and we are travel buddies. So I pick her up on the way to the airport. And I think the flight's at 9.30. It's only like three and a half hours. We landed about 12.30. I'm meeting the gaggle of girls, all my silver sisters. Uh, Lobby, as I call her, Elizabeth Green and Diane uh, Inkster. So we're going to, they're my roommates and we're going to have so much fun, you guys. So yeah, it's all packed. I've got all my figure, all my outfit. I don't even have to focus. <laughs> Hello, Donna. Heather, hi. Anyway, so yeah, I'm leaving tomorrow. Um, like I said, I was just feeding the dog. He's not in a good way, but we'll talk about that. He's better now. I don't know. Just guess. He's on pills and cone of shame and all that stuff. Okay. I want to see a card here. Look at something pretty while I'm getting myself together. Look at this. Okay, I'm, I'm working on a card. Look at that. Let's see another card. 
Hey, you guys, you should take this class. This class, it's coming up. Not till the end of September, but I'm away. And then I'm busy cutting for the all the extravaganza. <sighs> Did you guys tune in on Friday? Look, you guys, full disclosure, we're not making a card for another 10 minutes. So if you need to go to the bathroom or if you need a cup of tea, go now. Because I got things to tell you. Um, the extravaganza. Operators are standing by. Right? Right, Tracy? I know. It's okay. It's not quite finished. I need the snowflakes. They haven't arrived yet. But uh, I needed to get this ridiculously um, awesome set. And so I did. Anyway, extravaganza. Operators are standing by. You guys, we have almost as many in our online extravaganza as we do in person. I need 15 more fabulous people in the Edmonton area to register for the extravaganza. You have less than two weeks to register for this bad boy. Yes, you do. Less than two weeks. You're going to miss out on all the fun. Why would you want to miss out on all the fun? We are fun people. We have good food. And look at these projects. We are making gift cards. Look, gift card one, gift card not included, gift card two, right? Or tea sachet. You will be making four cards, two of this one and two of this one. They are the same card, just different background. Look at these. I mean, I would pause. Let's pause. Tracy made these. She's awesome. Three more gift card holders or tea sachet holders. Yes, I know you do, Cindy. We have some, uh, we have some here in Alberta too, in the mountains. Okay, gift card holder. Gift card holder. This one I made her redo about four times before I was happy with it. <laughs> I mean, no, no, redo it. Okay, so then you get, you get these you get these three gift card holders and these two. So you're getting five gift card or tea holders. Two of this one, two of this one. They're getting better as we go along here. Oh, and you can put a bear on these too. Look, you can put a bear, but you don't have to. Donna, you don't have to put the bear on. All right, you're going to make two of this one and two of this one. I love these cards. I love this card. This one has to go over here. I don't know why. Love this one so much. They're the same card. Yes, ours come with dip. That's right. That's right, Pat. Tracy makes dip. Look at, and these are my favorite. So these, and um, we're making two of this and two of this. Same card, different orientation. They're fabulous. I love them so much. So ladies, $100. We need 15 more people. And I've got a week and a half to do it. And I'm not here for a week of it. So please, lower my stress levels. $100, it gets you this stamp set, the Christmas Classics. You can upgrade to the bundle to include the dies because once you've seen these, how can you live without these dies in your life? How can you? You can't. You get the dies if you uh, bump it up by $45. There's another stamp set that you can add on to for an extra $33. There are links. Uh, Tracy, if she's not busy, she might put a link in this post. I will be posting again and again and again. So will Tracy. She's at the paper pusher. T-H-E-E, -E, Paper Pusher. Find her on social media. Um, you have to listen to me. Marcella, are you in? Um, I don't know if you've got your registration form in, Marcella. So we need registration form and payment by the 4th of September or you're not in. You're not in. You have to have done those two things. Please, please join us. Uh, a lot, a lot, a lot of time and energy um, goes into these events and the more the better right now we've got 25 in person which is fantastic we're going for 40 we want 40 we want to fill the house it's gonna be awesome we have a bigger room thank you Donna um, it's gonna be a great time so yes this I made with a new stamp set don't know what it's called something about a gondola I don't know this or above it all that's I'm gonna put this in here for now it has nothing to do with anything this one this is my, you saw me playing with this. I was struggling with this one a bit. There was a couple cacao ones. Um, I threw the one away. I couldn't, couldn't live with it. But these, this one's not included. But this was a layout we did last week. And I just used it with that paper. The, uh, it's a new paper from the mini catalog. But these are the three cards we're, we're using in my All About, uh, no, Autumn Leaves is the name of the bundle. And it's a big ticket class. I'm not going to lie about that. And that's because you get so many dies. So many dies. The bundle is like 70, it's a whole bunch of, I'm going to say 72.50. I'm not sure. I make numbers up as I go along. $95 in person, 105 long distance. But these are the three cards. 
I love fall and I was really feeling non-traditional. Thank you, Tracy. You tried doing the form and it wasn't letting do it. Oh, okay. We'll check it out, Marcella. Thank you. We, uh, check the, the link that Tracy just posted below your comment and see if it'll work there. Maybe you have to do it on a desktop. Oh. Anyway, okay. Uh, so these are the three we're doing. Black, gray, and white. This one, this paper is everything. And so I pulled the color palette out of this paper. Love this card. And this one really, really pops. Thanks, Marcella. Yeah, above it all. Thank you, Cindy. So these ones, um, the class isn't until September 28th. But when the new catalog goes live, shipping is always delayed. Plus there's Labor Day. No, no, Labor Day is before that. I don't know. They're just register soon um ideally by the 5th of september so i can order it on the 6th for you uh it's one that you're going to want to keep in your stash so there's my shameless plug for that and i think we're ready to craft you guys if i can remember what the heck my card is where are my cards where are my pieces what is going on okay I'm just about ready so i found this card in my pinterest board oh that's where those are Okay, I wonder where those went. All right, then. Cool. Um, so I was doing my research and development, aka scrolling through Pinterest, looking for a card for tonight. And this was last night. I needed to get all this done last night so that I could pack today, or not pack today, as the case may be. So I uh, full credit for this card goes to Akiko Sudano, and her blog is Stampin' in the meadows.com so shout out to akiko uh because i fell in love with this what is going on bertram um i fell in love with this layout and i've done three different completely different cards with it uh and i was trying to do a fourth and i thought i better pack <laughs> yeah okay so focus now so for this one I've told I told you that you need Don is gonna get twitchy if this is just floating around loose where is my magnet board I need a magnet board hang on don't want to stress out Donna nor do I want to lose my dies okay so I'm just gonna oh, this biscuit. I don't know what that was but anyway um so I told you that for every card you want to make you need a full sheet of cardstock and I didn't lie I wasn't crazy I just trying to find my papers here. All right, so a full sheet of paper. Tonight I'm actually getting what is why is what is this stuff? Stop it. Let's breathe. Let's just take a moment, shall we? Okay. All right. Now, let's see if I can remember what I'm doing. I don't know why this is here. Why is this here? Oh yeah, because I need it. Where's the third one? There's supposed to be three of them. One, two. There's no third one. I'm hooped. Hang on. Oh, Lord, love a duck. One, two. Where is the third one? I hear you cry. Oh, there it is. Found it. Okay. All right. <laughs> I think I need to go to bed. I'm ready. Anybody else? Okay. When I complete the form, I tell that I have to make a payment. Money is already through. Yeah, that's fine. It won't stop you from hitting submit, Marcella. That's cool. That's cool. Carry on. All right. Uh, you need to trim it. Let me get my camera straight. There we go. Where's Miss Kitty? Miss Kitty says, full sheet of cardstock, eight and a half by 11. Okay. Everybody got the trimmers out? Get out your trimmers. We're going to cut this into a standard piece of paper, uh, uh, card base, which is at five and a half. So I'm doing it this way. So I'm just cutting it at five and a half to give me a standard card base. Okay. So this one, so I know that that's that I'm going to fold it in half. There is our card base. Oh, I don't know. Tracy, do you know it said, uh, so you did hit submit. Tracy, can you confirm or deny if you got an email from Marcella or a notification? All right. With this other section that you've got left, <clears throat> let's cut this in half. So uh, we're going to cut this at four and a quarter. So that is the size of a card front, right? That's fine. Keep that over here. This piece that's left, we need to cut it. 
at four and an eighth. So it's right now it's at four and a quarter. Scooch it over two ticks. Tick, tick. So it's four and an eighth, which is four and a quarter less two ticks. So just take that off, chuck it away, turn it. And you need to cut this one at three and a quarter. Okay, so this big piece is the one we need to use. This little piece, we're just going to use that maybe for some scraps. So we'll just tuck that guy up here a little bit. Okay, thanks, Marcella. That's weird that it's not working, but okay. Now, so these are the pieces we've got. Now, and I told you I needed a piece of designer paper that was... Did I say six inches? No, what did... Wait. No, okay. I'm looking at the wrong sheet. I'm like, what the heck? I hope I told, yeah, I told you three. Okay. I was like, what am I looking at? I'm looking at two different things. Okay. We need a piece of designer paper that's three inches wide by four and a quarter inches tall. I'm not using this piece. I'm using this piece. So this piece is three inches wide. It just doesn't look it because I cut it already. So this is three inches wide by four inches tall. You're going to chop them into one inch chunks. So one inch, one inch, one inch. So that's one inch by four is what it is now. So you have to chop that. I, I did it off camera. I'm trying to see if there's an up and down. I think this is up. All right. So that's it. That's all. That's it. That's all. Designer paper, three by four. So three wide and you're going to cut them into one inch wide. So you have three like that. Now I said optional is an embossing folder. I like to step mine up a little bit. Okay, sorry, I'm just reading between Tracy and Marcella. Okay, embossing folder is optional. Um, I don't want to use this one. I'm going to use this one. Okay. So here's what we're going to do. We've got a card base. We've got our card front. I'm going to emboss this. Thank you, Heather. Matches my new dress that I'm going to wear in Vegas. Yeah. Matches perfectly. All right, I'm going to run this through the embossing folder, or through the uh, cut and emboss machine. These nails took me forever, and I really didn't want to, uh, I didn't want to do the dishes tonight. So I didn't want to take a chance of having anything happen to my nails. Makes me twitchy when I'm going away with painted nails, because what if one chips? I'll lose my mind. <laughs> Oh no, Ida, say it isn't so. Okay, then what you might want to do, Ida, on yours then, take this piece and cut it down to five and a quarter by four. Okay, so this is one option, is you can leave it like this. But let's do this for Ida, because we feel bad for Ida. We're going to cut it down to four by five and a quarter. I actually prefer this look anyway, but I thought, well, I'll keep it simple and we'll just do a card front. And so what I was going to do was just uh, attach that to your base. So Ida, because yours isn't, isn't embossed, it'll look a little bit nicer because there's some dimension. You could even take it in another quarter so you could go five by three and three quarters. The last cut, four and an eighth, Sherry, by three and a quarter. Sorry if I went too fast on that. So this, I'm just going to glue this down with glue. You know why. When it comes to these top layers that are embossed, I don't want them to be popping off. So I do use my glue more for this. I'm going to turn this over this way. So there we've got... our top. Wow, those nails really pop, don't they? <laughs> yeah, I'm feeling bright. Can you tell? Like this paper isn't really usually my normal kind of jam, but hey, we're doing it anyway. All right, now what we're going to do here is we're going to glue our three strips onto the piece that is four and an eighth by three and a quarter. Now at this point, um, you can see I've got tone on tone on tone. If you want... For those of you who are watching and going to do the replay later, you could switch out this um, this piece now for a different color. And I'm, I'm thinking I might, 
I might. Now is that blackberry or is that um um uh, <laughs> uh what color is this? Is that blackberry? I think it's blackberry. This paper, once again, is from the um man made oh, good lord words are hard. The masterfully made. It's berry so there's berry burst. I could use that as a background. Lemon line twist, lots of good million, pretty peacock, fun kind of sweet sorbet. Berry burst. It's berry burst. So I'm gonna use berry burst. And that wasn't the color I was thinking. Because let's see if that looks any better. I'm just thinking it's let's maybe give it a little pop and see if that's gonna look any better. Or do I stick with tone on tone? Well, that's kind of fun, hey? Let's try it. So I'm gonna do a berry burst piece now that's four and a quarter, or sorry, four and an eighth by three and a quarter. Just to, you know, throw a little wrench in your system here. Four and an eighth. But yours, if you were following my original cutting instructions, will be tone on tone, which is totally fine. It's going to look nice. But now I've messed up my flat. There we go. So it's, that's how yours would look, is tone on tone on tone. But I'm thinking this might be fun. What do you think? Do you like the berry burst or do you want to stick to the tone on tone on tone? Vote now. A little bit more interesting, don't you think? <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, Cindy. What did you just cut that to? Yeah, I just took a quarter inch off. So, uh, Cindy, this could be four and a quarter by five, and a, no, sorry, five and a quarter by four. You can make it any size. So, just chop it in a quarter of an inch or a half an inch, whatever you feel like. Mm hmm. Berry burst, the contrast. Okay, all right. Dory's going with the berry. Oh, hi, Chris. Oh, I just said hi, Chris. Sorry, it was different. I had Chris Schroeder in my head because I uh, I shared a meme that Chris Schroeder had done this morning. So yes, Chris, Chris Stones from Australia. So if any of you who are watching are going to Vegas tomorrow, do make sure you find me and say hello. Uh, we're gonna have we have a cabana at the pool on Thursday. And uh, we're decking it out. I say we. I have nothing to do with it. My friend Elizabeth and my friend um, Diane, who are now tucked into bed because they're in Ontario and they have to leave at stupid o'clock in the morning. Uh, they're decorating the cabana, Canadian, Canadian style. And I actually grabbed my tacky Canada hat, baseball cap. <laughs> so I, it's all blinged up, Vegas style. So I'm going to wear that. And a bathing suit. Oh, my God, you guys. I haven't put on a bathing suit in like 10 years. And I was looking at it going, at first, I, well, it fit, so I was pretty excited about that. And then I went, oh, you know, downstairs Kitty hasn't seen a razor <laughs> because I haven't worn a bathing suit in how long? And um, so the whole thing was, ugh, made me very, ugh, I don't really want to be in a bathing suit. Anyway, I digress. It's all packed. It's good to go. All right. Now this is where we, so this is our layout. This is it. Now we just have to bling it up with whatever you want to do, whatever set, whatever sentiment you want. So this is this was the four and eighth by three and a quarter piece that could have been used, but I, that one's over here now. So, but this was the chunk that I had left over. So this is what I'm going to use. I'm going to grab. <laughs> I'm going to grab um, oh, a punch. It's way over there. I'm going to grab this, um, what are this called? Lobes, uh, layered ovals? Sure, why not? Whatever this is called. And let's see what I can do with this. Maybe I'll do, hmm, maybe I'll do an oval in that. And then I could stamp in berry burst. I know, only tomorrow we'll go live and talk about downstairs kitty, right? Um, now where's my sentiment? So I grabbed a thank you. I have a few options here. I grabbed a thank you from the gorgeously made because that's the paper I was using and it works out quite well. Let's see how this is going to look. Uh, very first. Let's see how this works. With tone on tone. So I'm doing very burst on very burst should work you can see that okay let's see okay and then oops. Uh, this is where I might change my mind we'll see we'll see how it looks
How's that? Do you like that? Or let's do a few options. This is how I roll, right? It's like, mm, I don't know. Let's see how this looks. And I did this for a few hours today. I think I might like this up better. We'll see. Anyway, I decided I'm just going to wear my cover up to the pool, like literally to the side of the pool. And then I'm going to whip it off and I'm going to jump in the pool. And then I didn't have, I don't have to worry about kitty. How about that? I think I like that better. What do you think? Oh, do the opposite. So you're thinking this and then with a berry background, I can try that too. I don't know if this is big enough. That's sure. I just thought it might be too much. We'll see. Or I can maybe even try the lemon lime twist in behind it. Because like it's a little bit lost. I could try lemon or the, uh, is that perfect? What is that? No, that's lemon lime twist. Let's see what we got here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we're going to do some ribbon, Cindy. Mm -hmm. You betcha. This might work. that. Meh. Meh. I gotta love the lemon line twist. That one gets a little bit hidden, I think. Thoughts? Let's see, maybe the ribbon, oh my God. Now I just, I spent like 45 minutes this morning going, all right, enough with this ribbon. It's everywhere, it's falling, it's, it's driving me insane. So I organized it all and now here I am organizing it again. So maybe I'll do, like if I did some something, something, I don't know gotta decide on these colors do the small one in lemon lime twist with what background would you like Donna small one in lemon I can do that okay yeah hope is with you on that one and then what background Donna the um, fresh freesia or the berry burst very burst okay I'll take guidance I am challenged when it comes to color comp like I really really but you don't think that berry gets lost in and amongst this nonsense no you don't want tone on Tony eh? you don't want that berry burst background are you really you guys I think you're crazy no well okay all right. Give the people what they want at 7.30. Enough is enough. So I am going to assemble. If I can find my two. Rebecca, did you take my... Oh, never mind. I got a text at two minutes to seven saying, Where's your tape? I'm making cards for the guys at work. Because her last week is this... Her last week of work is this week. I said, get out of my room. I have one minute before I go live. Two limes? See, I like the two limes. I like the tone on tone too. Fresh freesia. I'll see now you guys. Berry burst. Berry burst. Well, Donna says I never listen to her. So on this one, I'll do the berry burst background and lemon. I do like the tone on two. Tone on tone though. Okay. So enough about that. Let's just move along. I'm going to pop these up on dimensions. I have lots of samples to show you with final versions I did earlier today. Because I played for, oh gosh, I'm having like a dimensional avalanche. Okay. Oh, now it's not. Now it's all blurry. Heaven's sakes. <sighs> get me on a plane. Someone just get me on a plane. Come on. Focus. 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 This seems to be the problem here. There we go. All right then. Fresh freesia tone on tone. Oh, Kathy, you're killing me. Nope, I've made my decision now. Donna wins. I need dimensional backings. I do like when you guys give me input, though. Literally, like when it comes to colors, uh, 
I use um, a website. It's called Color Lab, C O L O R Lab, and you type in what colors you've got, and it gives you nice combinations. Uh, I just I, don't, I could play that game all day. Of, oh, I don't know. Does this look better than this? Does this look better than this? Is there a right and up wrong? Maybe maybe that looks better like that. I don't think the flowers are right side up or upside down. So if we do it that way, then it's not quite as hidden, I think. So let's do that. And I'll pop these up on dimensionals. Because why not? So yeah, code is not very well. He got he had got a puncture in his um up around here above his dew claw, just kind of, I guess, above his ankle. It must have been punctured and then got infected. So he was, he couldn't walk very well. And I thought, uh oh, this is it. This is the end. We're going to have to say goodbye to my dog before I go to Vegas. But it was just an infection. I think I'm going to go over here. Oh, I meant to put ribbon behind it. Nerds. Anyway, he's, he was on the mend, but last night he was licking, 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 licking. And so today it wasn't great. Oh, top right. You're saying top right. So, oh, I like that. Okay, sure. We'll do that. But I was going to do some ribbon. I have got dimensionals on here. Okay. Um, let's try this. Let's put some tape here. I don't, you know, me and ribbon doing this little floopy doopy thing. It's not really my forte. I've seen my friends do it and it works well for them so I'll do it like this. Let's see if it looks caca. It looks caca. There okay it's fine. It's just oh it's stuck to my finger. Let's do this. All right so I'm going to chop that and then I'm going to sandwich this down. Oh <laughs> so now you don't want it here anymore? Too bad. <laughs> Too late. It's up here now. <laughs> All right. I'm going to peel this off because my dimensionals won't stick to this waxy paper. Bit of a gong show more than usual tonight. How about like that? Okay, so thank you. And then, well, something like that. I don't know. Then we can grab some... Do I have anything that are these colors? Probably not current. Let me look at my stash of retired stuff. You know what? These are old and retired and I'm using them. <laughs> I stopped up on these because I loved them. These ones were glitter enamel dots from a while back. Use what you got, ladies. We have similar, but honestly, <laughs> the color works. I'm using these ones. I could color my own, but I don't want to. There are some berry ones though in our current colors somewhere. Okay, so this is nothing like I thought it was going to be tonight. <laughs> but this is our layout and I promise you it is versatile. So let me show you the ones. Like seriously, you guys, it's sticking to my nail polish. <laughs> my nails are doomed. They're doomed not to make it. All right. So this is the one I made earlier. So this is tonight's. This is the one I did earlier. Okay. And this one is very true to the original card I saw from Akiko. She had done a ribbon. Uh, I mean, different papers and different everything else. But so this was the original one I did. And so this, the card front is five and a half by four and a quarter. I embossed it. The This layer is tone on tone. Thank you, Janice. Uh, so it does work. I just mixed it up a bit here. I trimmed this one down by a quarter inch. So this was five and a quarter by four. And I changed the background here. Same idea. Okay. Now I'm going to show you another one. Um, okay. Here's one. I was trying to make this work and this one I played with way too long. Uh, and in the end, I'm sh not sure that I love it because I couldn't find the right embellishments yet like so I wanted a little bit more something something and anyway it was a work in progress and I stepped away I thought it's fine it's okay it's good I'd like to try with it try it again with this paper and the bears 
So that's the same layout. And I did for a while there, I had it turned this orientation and the bears were over here, but then this didn't work. And I, I kind of love this uh, flag. It's like one of my favorite shapes right now. So I use that, but I'm going to show you, we're going to make another one. So if you missed the instructions, this one is stunning. This one is stunning if I do say so myself. So I'm going to grab some new paper out of the new catalog. It would be called Shining Brightly 12 by 12 Designer Series Paper. Uh, I will at this point also throw in my shameless plug for my paper share, my paper and ribbon share, you guys. You get um, a six by six sample of 12 of the papers in the catalog, all of the designer papers, the, the main ones. You're not getting like the Melon Mambo Granny Apple Green foil one. And I'm not sure if you're, I don't, you're not getting the rust or the rust, the rust one, rustic or oxidized or there's, there's some metallic one you don't get but you get all the other papers and this is one that you do get a sample of how about the retired stitch snowflake dies oh maybe melanie absolutely yeah and i was I, I i wanted to um put some embellishments on but for the mystery card monday i do try to stick to current although i just used old embellishments um but i was actually that card i was working on I was hoping it could be a swap card, so it had to be current stuff, but that's a good idea. I can, I do have some of those. So yes, you are Cindy. Yes, you are. So my paper share, it's a hundred and $105 for porch pickup. It's 125 long distance. And so you get a sampling of all of the ribbons, a fifth of a roll of all of the ribbon in the holiday catalog and um, 12 of the papers. So this is one of those papers. So I'm going to cut this down. This is four high and I need it to be three wide. So that's fine. So three wide by four high. So you can get like 12 of these out of a 12 by 12 piece of paper. You can make 12 cards and this, so this is three by four. So I'm going to chop it into one inch chunks. So there's my three chunks there. I'm going to grab a piece of very vanilla for this. So it's tone on tone. I love this card so much. This one blows my mind. Okay. So there's my card base, five and a half. I'm going to turn it for, well, this one I'm going to do a little bit smaller. So I'm going to do this one five by four, five and a quarter by four, four by five and a quarter. So it's just a little bit smaller than the card front. And then this piece needs to be four and an eighth by three and a quarter. So when I'm not messing with things around, this goes together really quickly. So these I'm going to glue down, maintaining the pattern, because that's half the fun is maintaining the pattern. Uh, the card I just finished. What, the bear? I mean, this one? Oh, the one I just did, this one? Okay. Or this one? Okay. All right, so I'm going to glue this down. No, what? <laughs> Nothing to do with card making, but your nails are always beautiful. I have a question. Have you heard of vegan nail polish? What makes them vegan? No. Vegan that no animal products are used. That's what makes anything vegan. So like vegan muffins, there's no egg. There's no anything to do with animals in it. And thank you. Yes, my nails. I, I can't bear when they're chipped and yucky. So <laughs> I can have them naked. I just can't have them chipped and awful. This is Jill moment. I'm a rep on that too. It's my side hustle though. Like I don't, don't even ask me anything about the business of it. I've had people buy the kit from me, this, like the nail start kit kind of thing. And so I kind of had a couple of people like on my team. I'm like, I don't know anything about the comp plan. I don't know anything about it. I just buy a lot of nail polish because I love it. It's my guilty pleasure. So if you're in Canada or the U S or Australia, you can shop for me for nail polish. They're based out of Montreal. So I like a Canadian company and I just got glue all over where I didn't want it. So I'll wipe it on my jeans. 
Vegan is nothing that comes from eyes. Cindy? Hi, Susan. From eyes, from animals. What? I hope that's spell check. So I don't know what animal product would be in nail polish, but there could be. There could be animal fats. Like, I don't know. I don't know. I, I don't know. I have no idea. Oils, dyes, I don't know. Okay. <laughs> All right. Good, Cindy. You had me a little worried there. All right. So there is our piece for that. Now this one, I'm going to throw, throw through the embossing folder, the Countryside Blossoms embossing folder. If I can find my plates. Yes, I can. And that through the embossing folder. This is such a pretty embossing folder. There's that embossed. Okay. Stays on well, no chipping. Excellent, Janice. Yeah, if you if you do it right, there's no chipping. If you do it wrong, there's lots of chipping. <laughs> and the other day when I had that blue on and it was a fail, it's because I didn't let, I put a base of the moisturizer on and it didn't cure. I didn't let it cure long enough. And so I took a shower and the water got under it and it was all just not okay. So it was an hour of nails down the drain, almost literally. <laughs> so, okay, so I'm gluing this down. This is such a pretty card, such a pretty card. Oh, thanks, Melanie. This is from Ardennes, 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 whatever, that, the, the teen shop. Um, Alicia had it to go to Goodwill and I went, oh, nay, nay, I'm taking that. Thank you very much. An extra large on their clothes fits me quite well. So I found this in the bottom of my closet, but it was from Mardine's. And it's a little half shirt. It's not even a full one. Like, I'm like, what happened to the rest of the shirt? It only goes down to like here. It's just a little half one. And it's really light. So I like it. All right. I digress. Fashion tips with Tamara. I'm the most boring wardrobe, I tell you. sure if I lost weight I would be more adventurous in my clothing sad fact all right so this one I'm putting up I don't center it I put it a little bit higher up here like that ah, it's not centered left to right there we go like that which embossing folder Connie this is the uh, countryside in one countryside blossoms I think it's called okay now for the next step this part's fun this one um, where did I put my, here it is. I grabbed this Charming Sentiments because I hadn't used it yet. You guys, this one, it's not cheap. It's a $72 bundle. Why? I hear you cry. A lot of sentiments, but because of all the dyes. Oh, oh Ida, order yourself a new die cutting machine, honestly. All of the words that are in this die set, in this stamp set have chunks that will cut it out and there's extra bits too so there's this so there are extra little bits and pieces that are fun hearts and stars and things and stuff so I'm gonna stamp where that little chunk goes so this chunk that was left over from my hacking the piece of paper up I grabbed my pecan pie wager I would like to partake in a piece of your pecan pie if you know, you know. If you don't know, you think I'm bat poop crazy. <laughs> Which may be the case. But hey, baby, I'm going. I'm starting to get excited about Vegas. I'm going to Vegas and I'm packed. I'm packed. <laughs> All right. This one cuts this one out. She said confidently. And it's a really tight cut. So for this one, like it's there's not a lot of room to get it wrong. So I'm going to use my little sticky thingy here and going to Vegas tomorrow. Woo! I'm so excited. Yes, I am. Margaritas. We're going for Mexican at the Golden Nugget. 
and it's five dollar margaritas and i don't drink so two so ten dollars i'll be drunk it'll be great <laughs> and then we're going to the boneyard boneyard graveyard i don't know it's uh where all the old neon signs go to die so we're gonna go and it's but it's a sketchy hood so we might get mugged that's okay look at that now the reason i did this in pecan pie is it kind of pulls sort of well it doesn't pull gold who am i kidding it pulls nice. It was it was hard for me to find a color. I tried a few. I tried um, early espresso. Mm, a little too dark. Didn't love that. Then I tried something else. Can't find it. Didn't like it. Ended up with pecan pie that I liked. I don't know. I tried a different one, but I didn't love it. So this one I'm popping up on dimensionals, but not before. I grab another fabulous ribbon that I seem to have two rolls of. I thought I better start using this stuff. Where is the open roll? Hang on. Uh, it should be here. There it is. Uh, I see it. Okay. So this is from the annual catalog. Gold. Satin edged ribbon. It's nice, this stuff. Mm -hmm. I tried wild... That was it, Donna. I tried wild wheat and it looked not good. I think that's the one that I... Oh, here it is. What's this? Is this wild wheat? Yes, this one's wild wheat. And it pulls green. It, it doesn't... Sh well, yeah. It would look gold if it wasn't against gold. I don't know. Maybe you like that better. No, it pulls, it pulls very green into my eye. Yes, I did think about gold embossing. And then I went, no. <laughs> So I did this, but before I do this, I am going to just cut a chunk of ribbon. Let's see. About like that. I'm going to make a mess. See, now I'm not going to want to leave until my craft room is tidied up. You guys are like, it's different because the whole family isn't going on vacation, but before holidays, <gasps> wait, there's more. Wait, wait, wait. Okay. So this piece is going here. This is right. There's more. I'm like, what, what is this going on here? Okay. So I have some, a hundred years ago, we had, um, some envelopes that had these gold pieces to line the envelope inside. So I cut them off. I'm like, I'm not lining envelopes with that. Uh-uh. So I have tons of these little chunks left over. I'm going to grab, I've grabbed this sprig from the Timeless Arrangements, which is now out of stock until September or October. I can't remember which. And I'm going to run it through my machine. And the reason I cut this down was because a lot of times this one, I've got a pretty clean upper plate, but a lot of times you'll get marring. So I didn't want to mar the rest of this with the scratches that are on my upper cutting plate. So that's why I did that, if you were wondering. The ribbon is perfect. Yeah, it's gorgeous. And I have a roll and a half of it, so I better start using it. Now this, I think I actually needed to cut this little piece off a bit. It was a little bit too long to be hidden behind my sentiment. So look what's going on here. Love it. So I'm going to take this up. Because why not? It can just be extra sticky. And I'm going to take this one down. I like using my tear and tape for anything I can. And then this I'm popping up on dimensionals. I guess I'll leave like that. Uh, do, 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 do. do I have minis out? Here's some minis. Here. Now, I'm not sure how it's going to go here. Where else? You know my trick. I like to put the dimensionals on the project when I can. I don't know on the ribbon it's not really a state of the ribbon let's see this might not be the right placement yeah that'll work. okay let's take these tops off look at that i'm gonna finish just in time 
Boy, you'd think I've been doing these lives for three years where I somehow managed to keep it to an hour. <sighs> okay, so there will not be a coffee break on Friday because I'll be in Vegas, baby. Learning stuff and things. Oh, that one's too high up, though. I want, oh, that loop is too, mm, I don't want it way up there. Anyway, I guess I'm going to have to live with it. I'm committed now. No, I'm not. I can make this happen. There we go. Ah, more than one way to pluck a chicken. Okay. And Alicia is in Orlando living her best life right now with her bestie. There we go. <gasps> Wait, there's more. Wait, there's more. Now, because I used the pecan pie ink, I thought, well, that might seem a little weird. Okay, that's, he's got to stay here. I'm going to secure him with a little glue dot. Um, tuck him right there. No one will see. No one will know. Shh. Just you and me. Okay, so it's the only thing that's got that that color on it so then I brought in why not I got these I got all the embellishments all the toys thanks Donna so I grabbed these just for a little bit of something and there are four three or four different sizes of these gems so lots of options so just dot those around a bit so there look at that card isn't that gorgeous? Oh, this paper. I love it. So I could make 12 of these cards from one 12 by 12 piece of paper just because that's cut three by four. And that is a winning recipe right there. Love it. Love it. Love it. Love it. Insides. Okay. I'm going, Donna. I'm going. I still have six minutes. Hang on. Wait, Donna. Wait. Now, here's the question. What am I going to stamp on the inside and the envelope of this one? I need... Timeless arrangements. Sure, we'll do this one for these two. And I need to get two up and down and up and down. Yeah, I still need to clean. I want to clean up my cave a little bit. Maybe I don't. I have a lot of work. Put the die away. Oh, Donna, you're no fun. Put it over here on my magnet sheet, how about? Compromise. Yeah, when I come back, I have a lot of work to do. I have swaps. I have my 12. Okay, my, no, there's a cat hair on that, and that will show when I stamp it. I have my 12 weeks of Christmas, so you want to be on my newsletter. Um... That starts soon. I have to have that into the people by September 13th. I have swaps to do for my sisters. I've got my classes. Uh, they're all cut for, except for that newest one, that autumn one. Um, and then I'm die cutting soon, as soon as Tracy, um, uh, as soon as we pl Tracy and I place the order when that gets here. So that'll be the middle of September. Then as all systems go for a month, I am die cutting my little arms off. Okay, so that's this card. Thanks, guys. I love it. I love this card. This one, this one. It's just, but I show you, I showed you that it is a versatile layout. So I'll leave this one out so I can take pictures of it. So these are the ones. I still have four minutes. I can keep doing my envelopes and stuff. This one, I'm not sure I love this one. I mean, it's okay. Yeah, I probably should have put it down here, but this one works. It works. Okay, so I'm going to have to find... I don't want to do the envelopes. Um, where's the bear? Where's my bear set? Where's my bear set? Fine. Okay, so this one's done. Get the bear out. He is stinking cute. Fine, I'll do the bear. I, just, I cleaned them all already. Dang it. Okay, so bear... Thanks, Janice. I hope to win big. I found some money. So, like, I found money in my wallet from last time I was, well, I guess when I was in New Orleans. And my mom gave me some money for my birthday, specifically for Vegas. So I got to spend that. I like to play the slots. Like, you know, you sit there and you spend 100 bucks in an hour. It's just pure entertainment. 
Okay, that's the bears done, Donna. Now, what am I going to do with these? The gorgeously made. I will do... Sure. This one. Thanks for writing me, Donna, because this one I wouldn't have them done for another two weeks. I'd be going upstairs and I would be... Okay, this one's going to very burst. Thanks, Mary. Marcella, thank you, you guys. You're good for my self-esteem. So, paper share, ribbon share. I've got my club, my 12 month or my 10 month purchasing club is coming up. Um, actually, half of the spots are already taken for that. So, five of the spots are gone. There are only five spots left. I'll be posting more of that in my newsletter when I get home. That starts the middle of September as well. Like, September is always crazy busy. Crazy busy. Okay, there, we're done. So, I'm going to take pictures and I will post them. If you played along or when you play along, please post pictures of what you made in the comments. I would love to see them. Uh, didn't I have another card? Uh, nope, just, just those ones is all I did. Okay. Um, I'd love to see what you made. Post them. I think that is about all I know. Um, yeah, you, you might see some pictures from Vegas, but you know what happens in Vegas stays in Vegas. She said... What's your what sweet is the gold paper from, Pat? That is from the, I don't know, something about Christmas. Sparkling. Shining brightly. This one, the shining brightly. The blue. That one. See it? In the little hole there? Shining brightly. Yeah, it's gorgeous. So, you, oh, you could do this in the blue. Look, hey, let's look at the rest of the paper here. Kirk. There's the blue. There are the stars. Ooh, this one too. Yeah. And this one. There you go. Um, yes, so I will be back. Right now I'm saying yes, that I'll be back next Monday for Mystery Card Monday. I get in around 10 o'clock on Sunday. I'll be tired, but I do plan to still be here on Monday because I'm always tired. Um, there's always things to do. So hopefully, but um, I do reserve the right to say, you know what I might not do next Monday. We'll see. We'll see how Vegas treats me. <laughs> yeah, it is part of the old holy night sweet Melly. Yeah. So thanks for popping in and hanging out with me. It's been an hour, um, less two minutes, because I was late by two minutes, and it's 7.59, so less three minutes. I'll post these. Have a great week. Have a great weekend, and I will see you next week. Bye.